Hi, I was asked to show you a video of this telescope and I'm starting with this view because it's very hard to get. This is through the 25 millimeter lens and I'll show you currently this in another angle. This is the side of a shed and trees and a fence in the background. The trees and the fence are probably about, the trees are about 25 feet past and I'm just going to show you backing out the focus and as you can see as we go f to get clarity on something slightly further in the distance we can focus and get with ease a much better clarity on the trees so it is very easy to adjust the focus right here this is the 25 millimeter lens we have our viewfinder right here and as you can see that X well, a little hard to see but there is a crosshair and that crosshair is aimed directly at the side of that shed those trees as you can see are across a creek that's actually probably uh, further than 25 feet probably more about 50 feet out from the edge which is why you can't get them both in perfect clarity at the same point in time. The tripod here spins the accessory tray. Sits firmly in place. You can put your eyeglass lenses, telescope lenses up on the tray. So you can swap them out with ease. Don't have to worry about damaging them one damaging them. I have the cover for the 25 millimeter lens right there just sitting ready to be placed and swapped out with another lens. We can adjust the X and Y axis with ease. We just turn and we can pan. You have to tighten it up a little bit as you pan. But you can go back and forth and you can locate the item or section that you want. Go a little bit higher and then you can pan again so you can very easily scan a region to locate where you want we have dials right here so we can tell degrees and tell how much we are moving and panning on an area now there is one thing worth noting this area these this dial and this dial came with plastic covering them and that plastic goes into the main mount. Now this plastic is a pain to remove. You have to be very careful if you remove it. It looks good with it on, but I like removing the plastic off basically everything if possible. So I removed mine off mine and took tweezers and took it off. I would actually, if I had to go back, I would have actually went and grabbed my X-Acto knife and I do have to still clean it up a little bit because I am a perfectionist. We have our slow moving dials right here or knobs and they do work to pan and slowly move the scope and the axis. It's very slight degree which is barely noticeable on here. It's only to get something, once you get it basically in frame and you don't want to have to tilt it again and play with it then you can just turn this these knobs to get it right in focus and they are pretty good you can generally move them with ease I wouldn't force if it gets tight don't 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 like force them because you really ought really ought to turn them slowly overall very nice construction the tripod it spins at 360 degrees now, personally, I can lift this tripod with my left hand, and while steadying it under here, with my left or my right arm, I can adjust all three tripods by spinning it and slowly, with my other hand, raising it or lowering it and locking it in place. You might, if you don't have uh, good biceps and triceps, this thing does weigh probably about a solid 50 pounds. Removing this scope right here is not much of a challenge. It just re requires releasing.